Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I want to introduce you to a program here that you can get called Free Chart Genie found on SourceForge version 2, uh, late 2015 in December, last update. So it's fairly recent, so you can come here, download this. Uh, there is available source code as well. It does run on all the major platforms, Linux, Windows, and Mac. I'm running obviously on Mac. So um, let me give you a little tour. Uh, basically it's uh, when you get the running thing running, it's pretty decent software for open source. We have, um, here we are working with IBM daily. You can do weekly, monthly, uh, yearly. You can also uh, put in different uh, um, charting. chart we've seen this before so there you go daily I prefer my uh, candlestick so we'll just stick with that you can also add volume in there um, and some other this price update I'm not sure if this is meaning live but uh, be curious to know that so here is our latest um, data. I just created this trend line. Um, it's not a bad little package or software uh, project. It's all done in Qt, uh, which is really C++ using the Qt frame framework. Um, let me see what other cool stuff. You can save the image, uh, which I'm doing here. You can uh, some better control. Um, we've got uh, see here. We've gone through that. Got different uh, fundamental information downloaded from uh, Yahoo. Obviously, you can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, we have some extra functional stuff here so I'll just use the default ATR here um, we've got uh, so we, uh, Fibonacci let's say um, let's just use one Fibonacci range uh, so not too shabby at all so we get rid of that uh, Fibonacci. I think I like it. Uh, so nope. yeah, so you get rid of the Fibonacci. I hope that doesn't matter. Okay, so let me show you how to download data. So we have here IBM, this DDD. So I guess I'll display that. That's a default. Um, so we have here two different um, tabs for our data range. So we can do some interesting stuff here. You can download from uh, Yahoo or Google. Uh, I'll put in Apple. Another option, market, we can switch our currency, I believe. I'll adjust the values. And okay. Okay, so we have here Apple adjusted. So there's our Apple, we'll do a daily. I guess that is daily, weekly. And uh, we can do the usual treatment. We can also load in, I believe, uh, a CSV format. So we can use all these, including Metastock, uh, Yahoo, Standard, uh, whatever. Uh, we can save stuff, I guess, from Yahoo. Pipe that through whatever, Python, whatever you want to use. This, I guess, is the data that's downloading. 
Uh, we can trash these as well, which I'm not going to do. And that's pretty it, pretty well it for an open source project. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Anyway, I just want to give you a tour. I may add this uh, little project to my um, Python algo trading series. Um, I think it's going to happen next week. So keep your eyes out as a new package to be added. All right, hopefully you dug this project called Free Chart Genie.